Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a typewriter. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. I'll be going over the typewriter basics and showing you the basic steps for using it to type things, okay? You can really get advanced with typewriter functions, but I'm gonna just be going over the basics. So let's get right into the video. The first thing that I wanna show you is loading the paper. Now there's gonna be a roller right here, and we're gonna be sliding the paper in behind it, and then rolling it through to the front. So I'm gonna try and set my camera up so you can sort of see everything that I'm doing. I'm taking the paper, I'm replacing the paper behind it like that. Try and get it nice and centered where you want it to be. Okay, then I'm gonna roll it through, just like that. So as you can see, I'm rolling it through, the paper comes out in front, and we're good to go, okay? So now we are ready to type because we have the paper right there, but we can actually adjust the margins. Now your margins are similar to a, a modern word processor where it's gonna show you where the page sort of starts typing and, and ends, okay? Um, they're gonna have these, uh, you're likely gonna find these tabs on the back and they actually set the margins. So you can actually pull them, push them down and slide them and adjust the margin. So I can just do this, push it down and slide it, and I can adjust the margins like that. And we've now set our margins, okay? That's the other thing that you can do. Next up, um, obviously you can select your ribbon selector. So on here, um, you can see right here we have these three colors. So what we have here is uh, the black ribbon, we have the stencil in the middle, and then the red ribbon. And watch what happens as I'm going between them. You can see we're adjusting the ribbon. Check it out. So a different part of the ribbon is basically being used to create different ink colors, which was really advanced for the typewriter era, I must add. These things are, they might seem like nothing nowadays, but they were so advanced back in the day, okay? So if you wanted to type something out, you could simply go to the beginning and start typing, you know? And with a typewriter, you basically cannot, as you can see, you cannot push more than one letter at a time. So if I push two or three letters, depending on what they are, it either won't type or it'll get jammed up. So I push three together, it got jammed up, okay? So what you have to do is you have to focus on just pushing one letter at a time, as you can see right here. Very simple, okay? And make sure it's well maintained as well so nothing gets jammed up. But it, that's how you type out letters like that, as you can see. Very simple, okay? Uh, the next thing is I wanted to open up sort of the hood of the typewriter and show you what it looks like. So I'm just gonna make sure that this piece is to the side and right here, it's like opening the hood of a car. You can see the internals of the typewriter. So check this out, it's pretty cool, right? You can see exactly how it works. Each letter is attached to basically a stamp piece over here. So when you push it, it actually stamps the center and they're all angled towards the center of that point right there. It basically stamps the center with the letter, which is kind of cool. Kind of crazy to see something like this because this is um, this this is a huge technology back in the day. Now, if you look at the ribbon, that's how it gets the ink on the paper. So what happens is you have two spools and as you see, it's feeding from one spool to the next, okay? So watch this right here. You can see the way that this spool is turning, this one's going this way. So basically, it's feeding from this one to this one. But let's say it spools all to one side. What you need to do is you need to reverse it. So you can use this lever to reverse it. So if I go this way now, it's going to reverse it. And you can see, watch that. You can see now it's going the other way. Now it's going that way. So we're spooling the opposite way. Um, and then if you, once that is gone the other way completely, you can go back, right? So you can use this to reverse the spool direction. Um, yeah, that's basically it. It is really straightforward. Those are the most basic ways to use a typewriter. There are more in-depth ways. And if you want to see another tutorial on the more in-depth ways, then let me know when I can make it happen. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.